Tonight, a new era ushered in by four brave Americans. Inspiration four. Welcome home to planet Earth. Thanks so much, SpaceX. It was a heck of a ride for us. Their history-making ride culminating in a white-knuckled final hour. The tiny SpaceX Dragon capsule returning to Earth, traveling 17,500 miles per hour. Parachutes slowing their speed to 15 miles an hour. Splashdown. And then that celebration. And there she is. Former St. Jude's cancer patient Haley Arsenault first out the hatch, followed by a dancing Cyan Proctor, Chris Sembrowski, and fist-pumping billionaire funder Jared Isaacman. Their three-day mission lifting the ceiling on space travel and moving boundaries for charities. SpaceX boss Elon Musk helping St. Jude's cross their $200 million fundraising goal, tweeting, count me in for $50 million. And here comes Dragon out of the water. Watching from home, nine-year-old former cancer patient Alana. I have always dreamed about wanting to be an astronaut. It did really inspire me because it showed me that you don't have to be an astronaut to go into space. For now, SpaceX dubbing this the second space age. The mission has already piqued interest in space travel. SpaceX's senior director says in the hours after splashdown, they saw a huge uptick in the number of people wanting to buy a private space flight from them. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.